Okay, this might be a confusing video. Let me explain a little bit. Before we start, let me ask a weird question. How can you prove zero equal to zero non-trivially? The first thing we see is so-called hopeful vibration, H. Actually, I don't want to dig into the detail of the definition, and we will redefine it later. Now we just need to know it's a non-trivial map from the three-dimensional surface S3 to the two-dimensional sphere S2. And since S3 is hard to draw, so we remove a polar point of it and project the remaining parts to the three-dimensional space R3. And a significant property of H is that for each point of S2, its pre-image or fiber is a circle. So we are showing in the animation that the colored point corresponds to the colored circle. You can see those fiber are complicated, but there are also some order. That's why people so called usually call it Hopf's vibration. It's quite a beautiful picture. Now we project another S2 to the plane and insert it in R3. If we compose H to this plane, we will get its image on the original S2. Notice that there are some circle intersect with this plane twice. So the image actually has two layers, the inner layer with blue, the outer layer with red and green. Okay, now if we move the plane from down to up, this image keeps changing. The more circles the plane intersect, the image cover the sphere more. Then the image warps the whole sphere. And when the plane keeps moving up, the image goes down. Finally, the image disappears. And you may notice that the out layer is keep rotating in this process. It rises up with the green and rotates to the red when it goes down. In fact, the out layer rotated 316 degrees when it disappeared. And you can see the inner layer does not rotate with the outer layer, since it keeps to be left pink and right blue from start to end. For those people who know homotopic groups, what we did actually is transform the edge into a homotopy from zero map to itself by the, the junction between suspension and looping. Um, and this home topic is non-trivial. So by this way, we get a non-trivial proof of zero equal to zero. Moreover, we can get the feeling that this H is a generator of the pi 3 of S2 by this rotating of the out layer. Thanks for your watching.